Centennial. This is your favorite host, Cami G. And David G. And as always, we have an amazing episode for you guys today. Camera rolling, action. Hey, Mr. Rakers. I'm sorry in the chess club at the school. How's that going? And I'm looking for a sponsor. Well, I'd love to sponsor it. Do you want to have chess as one of your hobbies? Then join the chess club. That's perfect. I even made a QR code. I'm Jet McMichael, and I'm the president and starter of this club. We teach beginners. All levels of experience are welcome, and we have chess club every Thursday in J14 after school. Checkmate. Join chess club. And I present to you... Flag football. Tatiana Okendo, I'm class of 2024 and I play rusher and running back. My name is Allie, I'm a senior and I'm a safety. Valeria, I play blocker and I'm a junior. Maya Farmer, I'm a senior and my position is a rusher. Vanessa Serrano, I play cornerback and I'm a senior this year. I've been playing since the first year, so my sophomore year. Freshman year, three years. Four years now. Three years. This is my first season. What made me want to play is my sister. She graduated like two years before me, and she just made me do it. It was the first sport I actually played, so why not give it a try? The class of 2022, they were just so inspiring, and they just like pushed for everyone to try flag football, and that's what made it really fun. I have brothers that play football, and like I've like always been playing football outside with my brothers, so when I heard flag football, I thought it'd be fun. My friend Kendall and Riley played last year, and I was like, now I want to play. My favorite memory is getting a pick six my sophomore year. Our first game, we went into double overtime and I intercepted the ball and we won. When we won our last region game in order to go to playoffs last year against Johns Creek. Last year we went to the playoffs. The first year, we actually won the first round but lost the second round. And what makes this team special is the teammates. We have a really good bond with our team. We do team bonding. The team's pretty tight, so that's what makes it special. I feel like it's a lot of different types of people and I feel like it just makes it like a fun environment. Everyone is just our our vibe and our energy is just so upbeat and fun, so it makes the sport fun. My goal for this season is going to playoffs again. Definitely to make it to playoffs. Playoffs. To make it to playoffs again. Try to bond with my teammates more. Try to motivate my teammates to play stronger. What motivates me during the game is winning and seeing like my teammates happy. Really my teammates' energy, like I feed off my teammates' energy. If they're hype, I'm hype. My teammates are in the sideline cheering for us giving us motivation to be better and stronger.
Your bird of the week is the Eastern Bluebird. Hey, what's up? My name is Christian. I'm a wellness coach, and I want to invite you every month to Wellness Wednesdays where we're gonna to gather together, we're gonna to talk about how to manage thoughts, emotions, we're just gonna to get together and talk, hang out, eat some pizza, and hopefully it's gonna be beneficial to you and how you deal with all the things that's going on in your life. If you want more information about this, go see Miss Cohen in the counseling office and register to get your pizza and a little bit of healing. I got a joke for you. All right, what do you got? What do you call a teacher that will not pass gas in the classroom? A private tutor. All right, I got another joke for you. Another one? <laughs> you ready? All right. <laughs> Why do they call seagulls seagulls? Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be called bagels. <laughs> All right, so here's one for you. My wife asked me to put ketchup on the shopping list. Now I can't read any of it. <laughs> Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Cold weather is underrated. I love the snow. I'm from Michigan, so it reminds me of my childhood. I think cold weather is overrated because, I mean, there's really nothing good that comes out of it. There's just ice everywhere. Underrated. I love cold weather because it's like, it reminds me of Christmas and I really like Christmas. I love crunchy bees. Crunchy bees are underrated because whenever, whenever I'm walking to the bus stop, I'll just like step on them. Definitely underrated. Because when you just step on it, it makes that noise, it just, it just feels good. Crunchy leaves are definitely underrated. I love stepping on crunchy leaves. That's my favorite part about fall. Sleeping in socks is overrated because when you wake up, your feet are all sweaty. I mean, it's just smarter to sleep with none on. Oh, overrated. I will never do that. Um, like just put a blanket over your foot, feet or something like that. Never sleep with socks. Uh, I think seasonal playlists are overrated because there's the same songs every single year and I'm just sick of hearing them, especially Mariah Carey. Seasonal playlists are overrated. Playlists can be made for any mood or any season. Um, for Christmas, yes, because I like Christmas, but for Halloween, I would rather go to like a Kroger and just hear like Halloween music. I think early Halloween decorations are overrated because I mean Halloween is just an overrated holiday in general. It's overrated but I love it because I love Halloween. Mm, underrated because it's never too early to start Halloween I guess. <laughs> Bonjour, uh, my name is Madame Folicossi. I teach French um, two honors, French three honors, IB year one, IB year two, and ab initio. My favorite part about teaching is interacting with my students. Uh, teaching them is really uh, rewarding for me, but also learning from them. When my students teach me things, that's a very big happy moment for me because I also learn from them. Um, that's a very tough question for me because I have lived in so many different places. I moved to Georgia two years ago from uh, California, San Francisco. I lived uh, almost 20 years in San Francisco, five years in Los Angeles, um, a little bit like under 10 years in France where I was born in Paris and lived in Dijon, which is a small town in the east part of France. And I also lived in Algeria. The capital is Algiers in North Africa. I love this question uh, because there's a lot of things that inspire me to teach, but mainly uh, my grandparent, who was an educator and the principal of a school. I remember when I would go to his house um, very young, he would always teach me something. He loved the uh, fables of La Fontaine, which is a very famous 
uh, author and he would tell us stories. And in each story, there was a little bit of a principle, a little bit of a, a lesson to learn. Uh, so he would tell us the story and then we would have to think about it. And that kind of inspired me to teach and always think deeper than just things on the surface. Outside of school, I like spending time with my family, firstly. Uh, secondly, I like to be outside. I love the beach. Unfortunately, I don't get to go to the beach much now, uh, but I go to the lake or do hikes around um, the Georgia beautiful mountains. I speak French fluently, of course. I speak English fluently as well. I am conversational in Spanish and Arabic. My favorite sport, I don't play it. I actually, I am terrible at it, but I love soccer. Uh, one reason I love soccer is it's a family tradition. We sit together as a family since I'm a little young uh, person. And until now, I reproduce that tradition with my own kids. We watch soccer, we have a good time. We follow the world soccer competitions and that's just so fun for me. Hey, I'm Dr. Wisdom, um, science teacher here at Centennial High School. Today we're going to do magnesium and oxygen. To ma it makes magnesium oxide. Make sure you don't look at the camera too much. We'll start with some lab safety. I got my safety goggles on. I, I'm going to roll up my sleeves. I'm putting back my beautiful long locks of hair. And then I'm going to turn on the gas here. The gas has to be turned on halfway. This is off. This is off. And you know the gas is on because you'll hear a sound. I'm using matches, so I don't do this at home. All right, so I'm going to turn my fire down because it's pretty large. I do that by adjusting my nozzle over here. So what you're going to see is that we have magnesium. This is our magnesium uh, ribbon or strip. Obviously, oxygen's all around, but you need activation energy or you need enough energy for the reaction to occur, all right, so that for the oxygen to activate. Kind of like gasoline, same idea. All right, um, these are combustion reactions. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put this here. After a while, you're gonna see a bright light. Don't look straight at it, guys. You could uh, burn your retina, all right? So <clears throat> after that, I'm gonna place this burnt magnesium safely into my crucible, which ensures that there is not an open flame or this doesn't catch more on fire or, or connect to something that is flammable and then ca cause a bigger fire. All right, so here we go. All right, you're about to see the bright light. Do not look straight at it, guys. Do not look straight at it. That is beautiful chemistry. We now just made magnesium oxide. Thank you all for your time. And it's in here safe, in a safe place. So thank you for joining the loft. See you next week. Your color of the week is blue. Centennial blue. My name's Miss Pete. I am the instructional coach here at Centennial. I'm also over Go Tip program and AP testing. I've been at Centennial for two years now. I have been in the school setting for about 10 years. Um, so this is eight years of teaching and then two, this is my second year in at an administration role. My favorite Centennial memory, um, I think the first time that we had our home football game and we did the like the marching band and the cheerleaders came through the um, the hall in the main gym. Just seeing that and everybody's response to that was a really good memory. I love movies, so going to the movies, I love that. Um, I also like running and sports, so. My favorite vacation um, was in Italy, I actually got to do study abroad. Um, so that is my favorite place in a, couple, a town called Montepulciano. Attention students, punctuality is key to success. Being on time to class is not just a rule, but it's a habit that can help shape your future. Tardiness disrupts your learning and your teacher's teaching. Please let's be respectful of everyone's time and arrive to class on time. And remember students, being punctual is a life skill that will serve you well beyond high school. Hey, uh, what did you get on the test? I got an A+, plus. what about you? Dude, I failed. Oh, don't worry, I can help you study for the next test. Really? 
Yeah, we go to the library now to study. Your number of the week is 10,000. The amount of times a heart beats in a day. Hey guys, welcome back to Be Kind. And today we're finding people to shout out others. Today we're here with? Jose. Okay, you can go ahead and play. Shout out someone always supports you. Someone that always supports me is Mr. Gilbert Duke. I don't know if I said his name right, but he supports me because he always did when I need him. He was trying to help me out in the situation, and he was there. All right, thank you. No problem. Okay, you're going to pick one. It says, shout out your favorite teacher. My favorite teacher is Mr. Blood because he's like, he very funny, you know? And like, even though he's kind of corny, it makes the day fun. So that's probably why he's my favorite teacher. Okay, you can go ahead and pick. Shout out someone who makes you smile. Van, Van Hathaway. Okay, perfect, thank you. Hey there, my name's Owell, and you're watching CSPN. The flag football team won both of their games yesterday in a dominating fashion. The first game was 44-0, while the second game was 42-0. Great job, team! This week, Suffolk played three games. They won one of the three games they played. Unfortunately, they were knocked out of the playoffs. Good job, team. The football team is playing tonight against North Springs. Come out and support them! 